The final four is on the line this Saturday, not just for the Maryland men's lacrosse team, but also the women. Diane Roberts has more. The Maryland men's lacrosse team beat sixth seeded Towson last weekend in overtime in first round NCAA tournament action. Next up for the Terps, former ACC rival Virginia. We grow up and we watch uh, some of the, the teams, you know, when we're younger and then we, you know, kind of have those memories in mind. And then when you see those those two programs meet again, it does bring up some some cool memories and uh, I think it gets people excited. We know in overtime, the longer it goes, the more uh, your heart pounds a little bit. So we try to end it as soon as possible. Um, and lucky enough, it was me on Sunday and at Ohio State, it was Jared. And I'm sure if we're in the same situation uh, on Saturday, it'll be someone else on our team. Like the unseated men, the women, top seed, also had to come from behind for their tournament win, which makes for a pretty cool vibe on campus with both teams in the tourney. Getting to play in the stadium with them, having the double headers, getting to share a facility this year and just like all being in the training room together and everything like making it so far has been so exciting. We both love supporting each other. There's eight teams left playing, you know, and I think each team when you're in this spot, you're fighting for your life. You're fighting for another chance to move on. The women rallied from a 4-0 deficit after what was described as a fiery timeout speech from Coach Reese. She and the players say they hope to get off to a faster start Saturday against Denver. Diane Roberts, WUSA 9 Sports.